If you were a non-architect and I told you to tell me the first thing that comes to your mind when I say snap, you might snap out of your sleepiness as if someone had taken a snapshot of you, hear a loud noise in your ears as if a branch is snapping and you might snap back to reality with the gravity and snap at me with an angry retort. And once we snap out of this loop of bad puns, we can agree that for an architect, snap is this. But there are annoying moments when you set up your snap rules and then you have to snap to something out of the ordinary, usually a center of a circle. So you want to turn that on, use it, and then turn it off immediately because if you do not do that, snap will grab onto a million things and annoy you. So let me give you a tip that solves that problem. Um, there is a thing called one-shot object snap. They are active for one pick of a point only and override all current object snaps for that one pick. So to set a one-shot object snap on Windows, you would press Shift and click an object snap checkbox to select the object snap, but only the one you require. And after the point is picked, the original object snaps uh, will be reactivated. Neat, no? The importance of learning these kinds of tricks is not only that you save a couple of seconds, although when you multiply that by thousands of times, it adds up, uh, the larger point is to think about the software tools in general. So they provide automation and there are levels to it. Everyone needs Snap, all the time. And that is why that is a standard tool. And then you move into this liminal space where there is a need for a tool for some people, some of the time. And that's usually where all these hidden tips and tricks live. And of course, there is a lot of space there for some tools you might need and do not exist. And that is why I encourage you to learn to code. And that is why I have online lessons for coding so that you can create your own tools that do that. And then after that space, there is an area where you find tools that are needed only by you for some specific project you're working on. And that's where programming really shows its true colors and gives you power to perform magic. And that's why I made and will keep making these courses and videos that will teach you how to harness that power. So check out the links for the courses in the description. Subscribe to this channel where I will post a lot of tips of these kinds, tricks and real free lessons. So stay free.